Hello again, everyone. It's the Black Knight. As you can see, I am no longer wearing my pajamas. And the snow is gone. For the time being. And uh, I'm planning on taking... This, you know, every CEO needs a day She's off. Got thrush? <clears throat> Anything you need, boss. Thanks. The secretary, she won't leave. But I have taken advantage of my Christmas present to myself. Come on, let's do this. Oh, let's go over here. And the one thing we didn't get to look at in the last video was the garage. Now, I thought that you got one level of garage per purchase, and apparently that's not the case, as you'll see in a moment. As we step out here, you've got all three levels of garage to fit the 20 cars. So when you buy, you could buy two more of these to get 60, but it still looks cool. I thought it was going to be like, there's going to be like a wall here or something where you couldn't go upstairs. It was going to be something cheesy, but I thought I'd give you a quick tour. Got the, the Christmas tree here in the lounge area, a little bit of lights. This is, again, all the, the unupgraded basic look, which I think still looks fine. This looks perfectly fine. On this first floor, 1A, and probably the other garages will be 2 and 3, so we've got 1A. Uh, I've got the vehicles that I use the most. I've pulled the Shotaro from the, the Motorcycle Club, pulled the, the Custom Saver Turbo from up in the, the Specials garage here. Taking a few cars from the, the Steelers livery. I mean, you know, the Elegy, the RE7B, and of course, I mean, practically my signature car, the the Entity here, except, oh, and the Insurgent. Oh, I just do love my Insurgent. These are the cars I will generally be driving around if I'm in free mode. Similarly, here in one of the first spots on the second row, I have... The Christmas special. Am I, am I recording? There we go. I, the, the little red thing went away. Similarly, here on 1B, I've got the uh, the cars I kind of use sometimes. First of all, we got the Christmas special loaded up here just so we can have it. It won't live here. It'll go back to the specials garage after the Christmas season's over. But this is when we're going to hop in in the short term. You know, this one here. Now, these, these are kind of my homage to real life cars over here this one this crossfire is, is very similar to one that my uncle had god rest him now this is my mom's gto from the 60s she actually had one that looked pretty much like this except that it wasn't a buccaneer it was a gto now truly i should probably have a gold tampa here instead of the dominator for the for my dad's mustang but this one stripes up closest I think. I mean I imagine this one would look you didn't have a boss so it had a Mach 1 stripe as opposed to you know the uh, the, the boss stripe that you see here that kind of thing that's closer to a boss I may do that eventually anyway get a gold Tampa that might be a fun thing to do but here we have a gold, uh, a gold, a modern gold dominator just as reference to my dad's 69 Mach 1 and this is the car I drove mostly in high school. No, it wasn't the, it wasn't the high performance one. I didn't have a 400 in it. I had a 3.8. But this is about as close, matching the wheels. I even did have white walls on it. Blue interior, blue top. It wasn't slammed. <laughs> but it. Uh, I did have a Buick Regal. An 81 Regal. This one's a little more modern than that, but close enough for jazz. Now, up here on 1C, we have our homage to all things Top Gear, Grand Tour, Hammond, Clarkson, and May, that kind of thing going on. Although I may eventually, when I expand the, the Top Gear homage to an entire garage, eventually that will be Garage 3, I think. If everyone goes up, probably 3 would be the highest. But uh, we'll see on a practical basis what we end up doing here. But uh, we'll have more Top Gear cars to start out with. But right now, here we have the uh, the scooter that Clarkson drove across uh, Vietnam, roughly, as closely as I can make it. We have three Mustangs. I, I haven't repainted them yet. 
Uh, just because I found something odd about it. This one doesn't really... This one, I said, hey, this is only a red one. This will be good for uh, Hammond's car at the start of the Grand Tour from that multi-million dollar intro. This one will be eventually repainted blue and white, and this one will be repainted all white. And you'll have the red, white, and blue cars from the intro to... Uh, let's, let's see the fuse here. And you'll have the red, white, and blue cars from the intro to the Grand Tour. Now, what's interesting is, is these two cars, which would be uh, Clarkson and May's cars, are actually photo-negative for what they're going to be. This one's going to be blue with a white stripe, and this one's going to be basically white with a white stripe, so it's uh, actually going to match the color so you won't have a stripe. This one's the oddball, which is actually already red, and I just need to change the orange to white. So I might tweak the red. That's a little orange. I mean, we, go, we have to make it more red. I thought that was an interesting oddity. I just th There happened to be domineers out, so I grabbed them. And that was that kind of thing. And now uh, here we have the uh, the uh, the Tornado. We've got the uh, Mariachi Tornado. And you might say, well, why would you put the Mariachi Tornado in the Top Gear wing? I mean, that just, you know... Part of it is because they got in a lot of trouble with the Mexican government for comments that they made during the show. But... This was a difficult car to get. I mean, you have to go to a certain place at a certain point, see an event, um, shoot some people, which uh, they've, they've never killed anybody in Top Gear, to my knowledge. Um, they have pretended to. And since this is a video game and I'm not really killing anybody, I was pretending to. So that seemed to fit, you know, pretending to kill people. And it seemed like the kind of, you know, car with character that you would see on that show. Hey, uh, I seen you ain't been on that laptop in the... You're not my mom. Okay. So we're just, uh, you know... Well, I figured, hey, why not put this in the Top Gear wing? I wanted to feature it someplace where I could show this off to people. Hey, yeah, I got it. I went out and I got this car. And it's a, it's a tricky thing. We have another video of that whole process. And, you know, we'll, we'll put a link in the description, I think, if I can remember to do that. Then, of course, you've got... Two Hammond cars. First is the Dubsta 6x6, which mimics the Mercedes 6x6 he drove in Dubai. Tried to match that up as closely as I could. And, of course, this is the Hell you know, an homage to the Hellcat that he drove across Italy just to annoy people. Which I think is a... Uh, and, yes, this was originally from the Steelers' livery. This is the car I've driven in races more than once, which I will probably drive again in races. But it, uh, it, that's, those are the cars. So this is, you know, eventually I could like to have, you know, there's some, there are some cars I'd like to add to this. Let's, uh, to, eventually when I have more space for the Top Gear cars, go to Legendary. Uh, let's see. I think the Pegasi Tempesta would count in that. I don't think they've ever, I don't know if they've ever done a 220. I'll have to look that up. I've never seen the episode. Ocelot Lynx painted brown. Or sunburst orange, or sunburst orange with brown pearlescent, or brown with orange pearl, something along those lines. We'll have to try and get that look. And, you know, let's see what other things come to mind. An FMJ, certainly. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? There's a couple that I was looking for. Progen T20, obviously. We're going to have to put a T20 in that wing here. Possibly an Enos Windsor. I think there was a drop top. Do they have a drop top Enos? Do they have an Enos drop back? Like a, you know, that might be closer. I thought there was a convertible. Was there a convertible version of this? Oh, this is, yes, this is the convertible. So the, the Windsor drop. We're going to eventually get one of these painted the blue. I think it was even like a blue-white kind of thing, that uh, two-tone that... Or am I just misremembering? Well, it's, we're going to get a solid blue one, if it was solid blue. We'll look that up. That uh, James May drove in Italy with that red Hellcat behind him all the time, just ruining everything. And uh, let's see. We'll scroll down here a little more. There's a couple other things. Uh, one car that you can... I don't think you can... I don't know, can you grab it off the street? Okay. There's a couple cars here. The, the Cheetah. And where is the other one? Ah, the Turismo R. Those would take the La Ferrari spots. They've done the Zentorno. They've done the uh, 
the the Sesta Elemento, so we'll have to grab one of those at some point. And let's see, what else have we got going here? Up ah, sail on the Super Diamond. That's that would be uh you know wow 187 thousand. I almost have to grab that. That's a pretty good deal. That would be James May's regular car, pretty close. Where is... Where is the regular... Here it is, the Picasso Inferno. I'll have to get an Inferno. No, no, Inferno is the Lamborghini. Where's what I'm looking for? Hold on. We'll get one of those, too, because, I mean, obviously. I've actually wanted one of those for a long time. You can't grab them. Ah, the Vapid Bullet. The Vapid Bullet was famous for Jeremy Clarkson actually owning one and then getting rid of it because the car alarm was too annoying. So, and you know, eventually if you get an adder, that was the, you know, the, uh, the top speed car that May said. There's a whole bunch of cars that you can, uh, that you can associate with Top Gear. Eventually we'll build up an, a, a nice, you know, probably 20 car garage based just on that. Anything in here we want to grab? We have some room for bikes now, so we, we moved those two bikes out of the, uh, the biker garage. I, just, I do want one of these. And a contender at some point. Matter of fact, you know what? Let's do the... Eh, I hate to do the contender right now. It'll drop me below two million. I'm trying to... I'm trying to save my money up here. We will get a drift... Uh, a Declasse Drift Tampa at some point. You can still get the Declasse Tampa. Which... I don't know. Should I grab that now? Just because... I mean, that will drop me below two million too. But I don't know if this is just a... Uh, if the festive surprise is only available during the festive season. I mean, I've purchased it already, so therefore I should be able to get it like this one. Man, yeah, let's wait for the bigger garage. But I don't think there's anything else that's particularly top gear. Maybe the, the Pigale would be a top gear kind of thing. This has top gear written all over it. If there was a Land Rover, you know, that's the kind of thing... Obviously, some of the BMW weekend of cars we can put up there. I have some. We can we can fold those into the into the realm here. I just got one of these. Yeah, that's a nice one here. It's just I have it painted uh, crew blue. And anything else you think we need to talk about as far as the top gear? kind of thing as far as epic moments I don't think so I think that that covers all the epic moments so that's where we're at with that so that's how I've got my initial 20 cars decked out I'd like to eventually move all my uh, holiday specials into a set like this you know be a basic show car set Yeah, this is just going to be a quick one here. Why am I stuck? I'm stuck on the steps. Here we go. Let's change view. I am going to still base myself out of the maze bank even when I'm not CEO in pajamas here because, wow, the CEO stuff either goes well or not well at all. And oh dear, there's some kind of deal going on outside, as there always is. Or was. But this is going to be, and of course we still have, you know, the garage across the street with all the other black and gold cars, the black and yellow cars going on, and like that. But I figured I'd give you a quick tour of this to let you know that, I, you know, we're still going to do the, uh, still going to do the CEO missions, but I need a break. But I'll tell you, that's just bad time after bad time in the last few, so we're going to do that, do a little bit of racing, Keep the racing on Sundays going, and uh, we'll see where things go. You know, it's meh. We'll keep having fun. Keep your eyes peeled. And I feel like I should, uh, and I feel like I should start saying like and subscribe, and then follow and ding the bell. I mean, I'm not doing that, you know. And I don't know. I see famous YouTubers like it's like they flog that to death, like it's some kind of mind control thing. Like I feel it's like if you like the video, like the video. You know, if you want to see more of me, hit subscribe. But it's like, do people just not do that unless you don't unless you tell them? I, I don't know. I've got I've got four hundred and 
38 wonderful subscribers going on and the lights are coming up as the evening goes on that's bizarre and uh and i appreciate all you guys i'm just wondering how why i don't have you know people have asked me there's actually been comments how come you don't have more subscribers i'm like i don't know maybe you'll say don't tell them to subscribe it's it's a funny old thing it's so like and subscribe everybody uh, <laughs> i don't know if you want to on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night. Hey, I'll say it again. You should check out that laptop. What miracle did you want me to perform? <laughs>